everyone and we're here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the Windows Update Troubleshooter in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to restart your computer. As simple as it may sound, this fix can solve a lot of issues. So to do this, press the Windows button then select the power icon and afterwards click on the restart option. Now just wait until the computer restarts and then you can check if the issue still persists. Another useful solution is to run the SFC scan. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. In the command prompt window, make sure to type or copy-paste the following command from the description below and then press enter after this command. Note that the scan can take a bit of time, so don't lose patience. Afterwards, restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. In the same time, you can also run a DISM tool. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now, in the command prompt, make sure to type or copy-paste the following commands, but press enter after each command. You can now relax and patiently await for the completion of the process. Note that it's important to remember that the process could take up to 10 minutes. Afterwards, restart your computer and check if the issue is solved. And lastly, another useful solution is to update the drivers. To do this, simply press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, and afterwards make sure to click on Windows Update on the left pane. Now in here on the right side, under the More Options category, make sure to click on Advanced Options. The next step is to select the optional updates under Additional Options, and afterwards make sure to expand the Driver Updates section. Now the last thing you have to do is simply select all the driver updates you are presented with, and then click on the blue Download and Install button. Just wait for the installation to proceed and then you can restart your computer and check if the issue still persists. And that's it, plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.